Okay, this is a video about filtering and sorting in Excel. What I have here is a data set with smoking prevalence around the world. This is gathered from the World Health Organization. And if we kind of poke around this data set, you see we've got estimated percentage of smokers, we've got the sex, we've got the country, we've got regions, we've got years. Uh, the years 2020 and 2025 are estimates because this data set was downloaded in 2016. So what we want are estimates of the percent of smokers in certain regions in certain years. So I've got a couple columns that I really don't need, like the, the tobacco column. That's the same for everybody. If you kind of look down, it's the same. This data has been pre-filtered for that. The prevalence of smoking, this is the same for every single person. The URL where we got this data is the same for everything. The published... Okay, so I'm going to take all of those, highlight those columns, and I'm going to delete them. Now be a little bit careful with this because you don't want to delete something that you might eventually need. Okay, furthermore, uh, let's see. Things are a little bit disorganized. I've got 2020, 2015, 20, or I'm sorry, 2000, 2015, so on and so forth. Uh, the years are all mixed up. The countries, maybe those are in alphabetical order. Let's turn on a filter and a sort. So I'm going to click into the data set, filter and sort. Okay, and I get these little drop down menus. And let's just do some quick filtering. So I'm going to, or sorting, I guess. I'm going to sort by year. So now everything's in order by year. Let's turn that one off. Then I'm going to sort by region. So let's go to region and sort those guys. And let's see, maybe, maybe I want to only do 2005. So let's turn everything off and turn 2005 on. And you notice that this is now collapsed. It starts at row 59 and goes quite a ways here. Oop, there's a gap between row, let's see, 115 and 440. But that's because my region jumps from Africa to America. So there's data mixed in there. Be a little bit careful. And if I scroll again, 478 to 692, uh, there's a gap between the Americas and the Eastern Mediterraneans. Well, that's because there's other years mixed in there. So be a little bit careful with this. So I've got 2005 shown. Let's say I only wanted to see the Western Pacific. So I turned the Western Pacific on. And now let's say I wanted only males. Well, let's see. My males, it looks like it's already sorted by males and females. So I look like I'm okay with that. Let's turn the females off. And so now I see males. I see Western Pacific. I see 2005. And I look down my rows to make sure that those are all in order and there's no gaps. Okay. So now I can find some descriptive statistics of my estimated percentage. So I could do something like equals average of, and I highlight these. So this should be just the males from the Western Pacific in the year 2005, enter. And then equals, let's say, standard deviation of, and I'm going to highlight those same ones. And again, this should be the standard deviation of the males in the Western Pacific in 2005. Enter. Oops. Oh, I put an extra parenthesis. Sorry about that. So I've got my descriptive statistics. The only thing I should have done was label them. So that's the mean males uh, Western Pacific 2005. I'm going to copy, paste. And that's the standard deviation from those. So that is, see, those two descriptors are put on kind of a weird row, 1579, whatever. You can put them somewhere else if you wanted to. You might even just want to put them in a new tab just for safekeeping. So I might take those, control X, put them in here. I'm going to call this summary. And there we go. Okay, so then what I'm going to come do, if I have another question, so I'm going to turn everything back on in all of the columns that I sorted, turn everything back on, and 
there we go. Let's see, the year is good, the region's good. Oh, I wanted all of the genders as well. Okay, and then you can do another sort. So I hope this helps. Uh, have fun.